good morning students i hope all of you are keeping well so let us begin today we are going to learn about the climate and vegetation zones of asia in today's module i am going to focus on the tundra the taiga the steppe and the desert type of vegetation but before we learn about vegetation let us learn how climate affects the vegetation of the earth now natural vegetation refers to the plants growing naturally in an area without human interference natural vegetation depends on two very important factors and they are rainfall and temperature now trees will grow best where the rainfall is very high that is why forests are always found in areas where the regions are very wet as the rainfall decreases the size of the trees also become shorter and their number also becomes fewer hence grasslands are those regions where the rainfall is very moderate or we can say that the rainfall is not enough to support the growth of trees deserts are too dry for the growth of trees so they support thorny bushes and shrubs and very low quality vegetation similarly the cold deserts with very low temperatures also do not support good quality vegetation they have or they support poor quality vegetation like mosses and lichens all vegetation have got a distinct growing season and this growing season depends on the temperature because plant growth take place within a range of temperature the growing season gets shorter with the increasing distance from the equator and with the increasing height above the sea level which means that areas closer to the equator will have a shorter growing season while areas far away from the equator will have a longer growing season similarly natural vegetation in the lower layers or in the lower elevated regions that is closer to the sea level will have a shorter growing season than those higher up that means as we go higher up in an altitude or in a mountain the trees will take a longer time to grow than those trees which grow in the lower elevate elevated reaches now based on climatic divisions the natural vegetation of asia can be divided into several major zones 
but in this module we are going to focus on four major biomes or four major types of vegetation so let us begin with the tundra now the tundra is the name of the vast treeless land found in very cold regions the northernmost part of asia is known as the tundra region it remains frozen for a major part of the year the annual rainfall over here is less than 25 cm vegetation mainly consists of mosses and lichens the animal or the wildlife over here consists of polar bears reindeer arctic fox and lemmings most of the birds over here migrate to warmer areas but the ptarmigan remain in the polar regions south of the tundra we have the taiga and it is an extensive belt of coniferous forest with mostly evergreen trees the taiga is also known as the boreal forest here the summers are cool but winters are bitterly cold and the annual precipitation of snowfall varies between 25 cm to 50 cm trees are evergreen and are of the softwood variety so these areas are storehouse for pulp and paper making industry the different coniferous trees which are found in abundance are pine larch spruce and fir so here you can see how the coniferous trees look like they are conical in shape or triangle in shape and the leaves over here are usually long with pointed needles since this area remains cold for a major part of the year so the animals or the wildlife found over here also has got a lot of fur and they mostly include mink ermines sable and lynx apart from this reindeer bears and bulls are also very common in this part of the forest south of the taiga in the central and western part of asia the climate changes to the steppe type here the winters are cold and the summers very warm since these areas lie very far away from the influence of the seas and oceans so these areas suffer from extremes of climate the annual precipitation over here varies between 25 to 50 cm so grass is the dominant vegetation trees do grow but they are very scattered and very few 
So as long as your eyes can see, you can only see grasslands. Due to the presence of grass, wild horses and gazelles are very commonly found over here. However, their numbers have now been greatly reduced because most of these areas have been put for farming. So not much wildlife can be seen in these parts of the earth. Next, we come to the deserts. Now, Asia has got two types of deserts, hot deserts and cold deserts. Large parts of Central and Southwestern Asia to the south of the steppes are extremely dry. So all these areas here we have the steppes or the grasslands. So south of the steppes mainly these areas of Iran, Arabia, parts of Mongolia which is a cold desert. So all these areas are included under the temperate and the hot deserts. Temperate deserts are found in the high plateau regions of Central Asia. They include the Gobi Desert over here in Mongolia and the Chakla Makam in this part of Asia. Now in the temperate deserts, the winters are freezing cold while summers are warm. Precipitation is scanty as they are very far away from the moderating influence of the sea. Vegetation, hence, is very little and mostly thorny bushes and short grasses. Hot deserts, on the other hand, is widespread near the Tropic of Cancer. And these include the Arabian and the Thar Desert of India. All these deserts lie outside the influence of the monsoon winds and the Mediterranean winds. So rainfall over here is extremely low. Due to lack of clouds, rapid heating and cooling occurs. Hence the diurnal range of temperature is very high. Which means that during the daytime, the sun is scorchingly heating the deserts and due to lack of clouds during the night the heat easily dissipates into space and the temperature becomes very very low which means that during the daytime temperature can go to more than 50 degree while during the night it can fall sometimes below freezing point, that is zero degree. This explains that the diurnal range of temperature or the daily range of temperature in the hot desert is very high. The scanty vegetation in the desert includes cacti, thorny bushes and scrubs. Date palms grow 
near the oasis while there are large stretches of land which are full of sand or might be rocky animals are also very less but we can come across horses and dromedaries which means one humped camels and they have adapted to this arid land or dry land of the desert so students we have today learnt about four different types of vegetation and climate so that is what we have enough time for today thank you